Hey, what's up guys? Johnny B here and today we're going to review the Toguard Streaming Media Rear View Mirror with Dashcam. So let me preface by saying that I didn't think about making a review video for this product. So we actually got it installed already. But hey, I'm sure you guys came to watch to see how this actually runs in the car. Uh, we installed this into our family van, the Toyota Sienna. And since we don't know anything about electrical stuff for cars, we took it to a local shop called Advanced Creations here in Garden Grove and we had them install it. it took them about two hours and able to get everything running and from the reviews i've seen this rear view mirror has both a front view uh front dash cam and a rear view camera which could record uh, i'm gonna have to get an sd card in there and go into it and since it's installed already i'm just gonna hop on amazon grab a review photo and then show you guys what's inside the box so you guys can get an idea of what to expect but uh without further ado let's go out to the van and check it out all right, so as you guys can see here, this is the tow guard CE60 uh, rear view mirror. Now this is attached to the original uh, mirror. As you can see, it's kind of hooked up to the back right here. And this is the front camera, the front dash camera. It's on popping on the side of the rear view. Right now the mirror is currently off. So it acts like, as a, acts like a regular mirror, rear view mirror. Now if I power the car on, And you'll get the logo. Get everything turned on, and now it's showing the rear in all its glory, full color, right? And looks like right now it's currently. Uh, I just popped in an SD card, micro SD card, and it looks like it's currently um, recording the back right now. And what's cool is that it is touchscreen. So if you want to switch to the front camera, just hit that button right there, and then you got your front camera as well. Okay, switch back, you got your back camera. And let's say you don't really, you're not used to all this, you're kind of used to having a rear view mirror, you could press the button down here, that's on the bottom, and I'll turn the screen off and it'll still act like a regular rear view camera, a rear view mirror. But let's turn that back on because that's the main thing we want to see. So there's that. This is in uh, recording in 1080p. Actually, no. We have the front dash recording in 1080p and in the back at 720p. Now you could go into the settings. Let me stop that recording. You go into settings and switch it. See right now it says front camera's 1080p, rear camera's uh, 720p, but you can flip it and go front 720p and rear 1080p. Um, right now, it, the clock is at uh, is on a uh, focus right here. Right now, the clock's in twenty four hour format, and there's no way to change that. So, oh well, military time. <laughs> um, I guess it's always going to be recording when I turn on the car. So, which. I only have a 4 gig micro SD card in there right now. I need to go buy a spare one, but that was the only one I had at the moment. So I'll go and do that. Uh, this is the playback button, I'm assuming. Yeah, see, everything's recorded in MOV. I don't know how big each file is, but we'll see after that, after I take out the SD card. But yeah. So I, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it record, records both the front and the back simultaneously. So with that, let's go for a quick drive and see how the recording is. Oh, and by the way, if you slide your finger left and right, that controls the brightness. And if it goes up and down, you can kind of control the angle of it. Same goes to the front. And before I drive, if I start the car, And if I put the car in reverse, you actually get your reverse lines, right? And then let's say I'm in the front view and I hit reverse. I'll still go to the reverse camera and have your reverse view. Not bad, right? But let's stick it to that and let's go for a little test drive. I'm going to put the camera down, not going to drive like holding the camera at the same time. So let's go for a little run. 
So as you can see here, the bigger screen is the front camera, and then the smaller screen I have on the bottom is the rear view camera. It doesn't exactly look like this when you bring it out of the uh, memory card. I just kind of shrink the rear view camera and to put it simultaneously to sync up with uh, the front camera. But uh, yeah. And then later on, we're going to test the rear view uh, mirror's uh, audio, and you can kind of gauge how loud it, and clear it sounds. I wonder what kind of audio it's recording right now. Um, it says it's recording audio about how clear it actually sounds, which is nice. And there's a car behind me. You can kind of see how far the car is, how it looks inside in the camera. All right. Alright guys, with that, we kind of see how well it goes during the daytime. I mean, it's kind of overcast actually, but um, that's how it looks in the daytime. But of course, we got to see how it performs at night, see if the if uh, it could pick up, uh, and see if anybody's headlights would be blinding the camera, or it could pick up uh, any glare and things like that, and then see if this mirror is too bright. But uh, give me a couple hours and we'll review it at nighttime, alright? Okay, well it's about dark-ish now. Um, can't really see out the window uh, with the regular mirror on, like any mirror. I mean, the camera's not really put it into uh, perspective. But let's turn it on and see how it looks. There you go. <laughs> Funny thing is, it almost makes it look like it's daytime right now. <laughs> Right, if you look right into it. I mean, it's not too bad. Let's look at the front. Front could be pretty bad if a headlight's shining right at the camera and stuff. As you can see, it looks like it's just blinding the whole thing. But back, not too bad. It actually makes the night vision almost kind of, you know, even if you can't see throughout your back window, at least the, at least the, the camera is making it look bright enough. But uh, let's take it for a spin and see how it goes with uh, cars going here and there. As you can see, actually, right now there's a car coming. It's not too bad in terms of glare. But yeah, let's take it for a spin in, in, at night and see how it goes. Well, as you guys can see, it's not as great as uh, daytime, but it's doing a pretty good job at recording. Um, yeah, the windshield is kind of dirty, so it's kind of... <laughs> Messing with all the dots and stuff like that. So with a cleaner windshield, it'd be better. It just rained over the weekend, so um, yeah. With bright lights, it looks like it's glaring a little bit, but it's not too bad. I mean, I guess the most important part is if it could read uh, license plates frames or license plate numbers from cars in case there's an accident or you got a hit and run accident and things like that. Again, I placed the. Uh, they do record separate videos, but I kind of overlaid the rear video on top of the front video, so. You kind of see the difference. They don't actually look like this coming out of the memory card, just to, just to point that out. But it's not too bad. I mean, it makes everything very bright. It was definitely a lot darker with the human eye than it is the camera. But like I said, not too bad. Well, guys, that was the Toe Guard rear view camera with a dash cam. If you guys are interested, I will link the product in the description below. And if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Uh, be safe out there, be healthy, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.